Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. The Tamil version of this video is already available on the channel. The link is given in the description box below. Please do check it out. And the Hindi version of this video will be uploaded at the earliest. This video content contains how to save and rescue a baby Mainache, where to accommodate them, what kind of atmosphere it should be kept in, what are the do's and don'ts at home, what kind of food can be given, the time duration to give the food, and how to give them a super duper bath and lastly freeing them away before we get into the video i would like to make an announcement we are more than happy and excited to launch a new youtube channel which is exclusively made for fashion and arts this channel is all about illustration fashion and more of arts so if anybody out there who's interested in arts and fashion please do check out our new channel and show us the same support as you do here before we get into the video, I would like to extend my special thanks to one of our subscribers who was located in Goa for being so kind enough and sending us the clippings of a baby Maina chick. In this video, we are going to see how to rescue and save a helpless and fallen baby Maina chick from the ground. Please do make sure to watch the video till the end because it is going to be a life changer. The first and the foremost thing to do if you find a fallen baby, a helpless baby chick in the ground or when the nest is knocked down a tree, please do not worry about touching the birds. Because it is not true that the smell of the human would cause the nest to be abandoned. It is not true at all. So, it is always important to go and rescue the baby in the first place. It is always well and good to put back the chick into the nests. But sometimes it might be very difficult to reach out for the nest which could be too far away. In that case, you can very well keep them at home. Accommodate them in some boxes which are easily available at home. It can be a shoe box or a small wooden box or a small container or whatsoever. Place a paper towel or newspaper inside the box just to make sure to clean the post spillings of the chick. Please do make sure to change the paper towel or whatsoever you have placed inside the box on regular basis. To give them a homely environment, use a warm blanket and for the oxygen and ventilation purpose, please place few holes on top of the box. The room temperature should not go down below the normal temperature. And also it is very important to put away your household pets and watch out for the other animals like rats. Cats and dogs are an absolute threat to the fallen chick. And here comes the very important part of the video. It is the important part of the bird's life as well. It is all about feeding because feeding them with proper nutrients is very important for their overall growth. You all might have heard about this manna health mix which can be easily available all over. This manna health mix can be given as the bird's food. Just boil some water in the pan, add 2 to 3 teaspoons of manna health mix and stir it continuously. If your fallen chick is 2 to 3 weeks old, you can feed them a semi-solid mix. As the chick grows, you can add the consistency of the mix from semi-solid to slightly solid. Please don't overfeed them. Feed them gradually. You can use a clean syringe to feed them or use a spoon as well. 2 ml should be more than enough for a 2 to 3 weeks old chick. Follow the same process as shown in the video and don't feed them water. And if you live in a country where this particular formula would not be available, you can easily purchase it online. And if it is still difficult to buy it online, you can buy this particular formula which is shown in the video from your nearest pet shop. Monitor the growth of the chick and lessen the time duration and increase the food quantity as it grows older. A 2 weeks old chick can be fed 2 ml, a 3 weeks old chick can be fed 3 ml. You can increase the food quantity depending upon its growth. One advantage in the minor birds are if it is full, it never opens its mouth. So it is easy for us to decide if he is hungry or full. With the pandemic situation, it might be difficult to get these two formulas as well. But in that case, do not stress out. You can provide them home-cooked rice. Boil the rice thoroughly, mash them up and that can be given as food. You can also provide them with fresh fruits. But again, when it comes to fruits, please completely avoid citrus fruits such as oranges, lemons, limes and grapefruit. Banana, pomegranate and apple can be given. Fruits must be washed thoroughly to remove chemicals. They should be cut into manageable pieces appropriate to the size of the bird. Don't mix fruits and food in the same dish. Each food should be offered in a separate bowl. Another alternative for rice and fruits are chanas. You can also boil some chanas, mash them up, mix it with water and make it into a semi-solid consistency. And that can also be given to them. 
Avoid giving green vegetables that are high in iron such as peas, green beans, sweet potatoes and broccolis. And please avoid junk food including chocolates, caffeinated products, alcoholic beverages and foods that are high in salt and fat. And completely avoid milk and milk products. Always monitor the amount of food eaten every day. Be careful not to overfeed. One significant thing that has to be kept in mind to feed a baby mina is the time duration. The exact time duration to feed a mina chick should be between 6 in the morning and 10 in the night. Make sure it gets proper food every 2 hour once in between these timings. Once the baby mina is fully grown and once he is stable enough to stand by himself, it is very essential to give him a bath. As you can see in the video, you should use only a shallow bowl and only his legs should be soaked. Cause there are high chances of drowning when you use a deeper bowl as it has the capacity of holding more water. So it is always safe to use a shallow bowl as shown in the clippings. And my dear friends, now here we are at the very very important part of the video. As per the law, it is highly offensive to pet and cage a minor bird at home. So just in case you get to run into an abandoned minor chick, please don't hesitate to save them. But make sure to free them away once they are independently stable enough. If you would have noticed at the beginning of the video, you would have easily recognized how tiny and featherless he was. But now after proper care and feeding, his feathers have grown and he is healthier and way more active. It was definitely a great experience rescuing him and saving its life. We thoroughly enjoyed the whole process. And we did free him away. And if you find one, please make sure to free him away once he is independently stable enough. And that's it for the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope it was informative as well. Please do like, share and comment. And please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to share it with all your friends and family. This might change a life. See you soon with yet another interesting content. Until then, stay tuned, take care and bye.